Doctor, in the treatments that you offer uh, that we've talked about, the PRP, prolotherapy stem cells, most people want to know what the cost is, you know, compared to getting an anti-inflammatory or something like that. Is Obviously, it, it, it might be a safer option for them, but, you know, is it right. is it cost effective as well? Right. So if you look at a lot of stuff, we a lot of stuff we do has great insurance coverage, whether mm -hmm. it's different types of injections, epidurals, pain injections. We do a lot of work with, uh, with different nerves and nerve blocks and getting nerves to function more healthy. Again, those are all covered by insurance. When it comes to the regenerative procedures like the prolotherapy, the PRP, and the stem cells, at this point they're not covered by insurance. It might be soon that the PRP could be covered. The PRP was actually covered uh, very well for a few years. Hmm. But on the orthopedic side of it, there's some lobbying going against it. They're doing less orthopedic surgeries. And so because they're doing less orthopedic surgeries, they didn't want the PRP to be covered. So there's some lobbying done that the PRP code got put onto the uh, kind of non-covered code. So when it goes to that code, it stays there for two years. But if you look at all the recent evidence from you know 2010 to 2013, um, I gave a recent talk on PRP and where it is with the research, and the research was overwhelming. You know, even the newest you know 2013 studies are showing that this outperforms the, the the cortisone shots, which occur by insurance, and it outperforms some of the lubricating shots, which occur by insurance. So it's outperforming them. If you look at the cost between the two, for example, somebody comes in to do PRP in their knee. Our cost for the PRP in the knee is about $600, which we charge the patients. If that patient would come in to see me and have a cortisone shot, uh, that shot would probably be about six to $700 going through their insurance, or if they have a copay, they may be responsible for the six to $700. If they came in to see me and got a lubricating shot, which is like soup parts or the chicken comb injection, we may have heard a little bit mm -hmm. about it. It's just a lubricating joint. We do a lot of those as well, but that's going to cost their insurance anywhere from eight to $1,200 just for that one injection. So. Uh, from a dollar for dollar perspective, is you're getting a lot more with regenerative procedures. It's going to do more for you long run. It's actually less expensive to have it done. Uh, this might be a hard question to answer, but if I let's stick with the knee again. If I have a, a problem with the knee and I, I choose prolotherapy, is it one office visit? Is it you know on average, I guess if if you can, is it one, you know sure. once a week for a month? I mean, how often until you don't see anybody for a while? Right. So you come in, you have moderate knee arthritis, your knee, or you have an ACL that's loose or meniscal tear. So with prolotherapy, we're usually talking anywhere from three to five treatments, separated by about uh, four to six weeks. Okay. With the PRP, because it's a little more powerful, it's usually going to be two or three treatments separated about four to six weeks. With the stem cell, because that's the most powerful of the, uh, the procedures, that might be one round and then you're done. So each one gets a little more powerful as far as mm -hmm. the levels of uh, procedures.